My wife and I did uh, start doing research on the best uh, material to make the mask out of and the design. So I started calling some of the local shops and I was connected with a gal named Kathy Dorr. She works with the American Sewing Guild and called her and said, this is what we're looking to do. And without even knowing me, she just said, let's go, let's do it. We had that set up in, in a day and a half with all the sewers ready to go. I took $1,300 of my own money, went out and bought every uh, bolt of polypropylene I could possibly find in, in town and every uh, bit of la uh, elastic we could find. Took them to Kathy and we got them out to the four uh, Spokane shops and they started sewing and by Monday we had 1,000 masks. By Tuesday we had 2,000 masks and that's the day we took that shirt first shipment to the Spokane Fire Department. Now we, uh, we've made over 15,000 masks. We're, we're starting to work on 6,000 for Fairchild Air Force Base. We're supporting people making masks as uh, volunteers and also uh, have a little mini factory going ourselves to make masks for uh, companies that need them. It's amazing we just get a stream of cars coming in every day, dropping off masks and picking up masks and just a wide variety of people. It's just incredible to see how much effort they're putting into it. These take quite a while to do. There's, there's quite a bit to them. We're trying for a hundred a day, and we've got there so far. We're getting faster <laughs> the more we make, yeah. Sewing for 10 hours is more physically exhausting than you'd think. It's a lot of work sitting, sitting here, and you're tired at the end of the day, for sure. We've all been fantastic on keeping together. We have crew that can't be in here, that are picking up supplies, they're doing it at home, bringing them into us every day. We've got a great teamwork going on. I spent 20 years active duty in the Air Force. When I was active duty, it was nice to help the community. And now that I'm not active duty, it's nice to be able to turn around and help uh, my fellow Air Force members. These are going to first responders, uh, fire departments, ambulance drivers, uh, nurses, no and nonprofits. We're trying to help out those uh, that aren't, aren't, won't be able to get these masks, uh, don't have access to them or don't have the money. It's a great feeling knowing that we're helping out. We're the little engine that could, and darn proud of that. The Quilting Bee, when asked to do whatever they can, they have brought unbelievable effort. After this is all done, come see uh, what they do. It's pretty neat.